Yep, and the Flyers flying high from the get-go with just one game decided by single digits in their perfect regular season. And things getting even better for Tim Goodwin's squad, as they always seem to do in the postseason. In the last month, the defense has pitched four straight shutouts, outscoring playoff opponents in those three shutouts. Fort Recovery, Spencerville, and Coldwater by a count of 95 to nothing. Liberty Benton putting its 10-game win streak on the line tonight at Harmon Field in a game you can see at midnight on WOSN and all day tomorrow as well. The Flyer fans bundled up and fired up. I got to speak at Marion Local Career Day this week. It was great. Kyle Francis loving this punt return. Gets it out to the 25 of Liberty Benton. They are in business early in the first quarter. Nathan Bruns to Matt Rethman. Look at Rethman. Slide through that defense, gets tackled just outside the 10. A few plays later, it's Bruns looking to Nick Tangeman. Great catch by Nick. Touchdown, they get the two point. It's 8 0 Marion Local. Ensuing kickoff, the state trackster Will Polin showing off the wheels, gets it to the outside, would finally get taken down just before he reaches midfield. They would have to punt, however. LB at it again, Austin May. To Poling, nice little move, gets across midfield, gets a block, and he is pulled down at the 42, but again the drive stalls. Second quarter, Marion Locals, Nolan Habadas, dancing his way across midfield, huge pickup, leads to an Alex Klosterman field goal, 11-0 Flyers. Minute 18 left in the second quarter, Bruns play action, throwback to Habadas, he, Habadas is right into the end zone. That makes it 18-0 at the half. Flyers win it again, 31-13. They are a perfect 14-0. And Marion Local will face a familiar foe in the Division VI state championship game. Kirtland, they were victorious tonight, 44-0 over Nelsonville, York. We haven't heard the times yet for these playoff games, but we believe it could be the late game on Saturday. We know Marion Local will play Saturday and in past year's Division Six teams, when the Buckeyes are playing in the Big Ten Championship game, have been pushed to the late game on Saturday. So we'll see if that follows.